Hey, we made it to Romania. Yes, finally. We're here uh, just outside of Cumpulon in Romania, uh, here in the mountains, enjoying a beautiful sunny day in the, in the mountains. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, guys, so uh, let's uh, show you what we've done so far. And if you like what you see, please give us a, a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell. It lets you know when we put out new content. Hi, I'm John and this is Bogdan. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. Hey everybody, the journey has started. We are now at the airport here in Houston, ready for our flight to Istanbul and then on to Romania. So uh, wish us luck and uh, we'll see, we'll keep you in, informed of what we're doing. Not to mention everybody is looking at us. Right? Yeah, we're causing quite a stir. All right. Hi guys, we finally made it to Istanbul and I don't feel tired. We paid for uh, an extra fee just to sit together in the plane and... Uh, Turns uh, out half the plane was empty. Uh, yes, and we had a, a row uh, for ourselves and we had a good sleep. I, I, don't, I didn't have a good sleep, but I... No, but at least I got I didn't, to stretch out. I yeah. didn't feel cramped and uh, uh, it was good. You know, and I got five movies in, so... I didn't. I only made up two because I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't stand more than two. But Beautiful airport. Yes, this is a, an amazing airport. It's a new airport in Istanbul and um, it's cool. But now we are in uh, our way to the next journey to Bucharest. Yes. So we'll be in touch. You know, after some duty free. Yeah, absolutely. This is the second day in Kumpulung and we are going now to the notary 
we need to translate a piece of document from English to uh, Romanian. It's a beautiful day here. It's probably in the low 70s, beautiful sunny day. Y'all, we just have lunch, a lovely lunch made by Mama Kati. And uh, let's see what else have we done today. We went to sign her up for an internet uh, connection. She doesn't have internet for some reason. And uh, we got the cheapest um, contract, and that it's $6 a month for 500 megabytes per second speed. So now you tell me, how the heck are we paying 250 megabytes per second in Houston? Behind them forty dollars a month. Yeah, yeah. How how can you add? How can you explain that? Six dollars a month, and you can pay it online. So yeah. So yeah. we are uh, we're gonna have to wait a, a day or two for the guys to hook us up. But uh, I thought it was the, something worth to share. Absolutely, we've got that. We went to uh, get my tr my translation for my passport, which is something we need for the business. And we ended up going and buying a second fan because that's just needed in summertime. This is funny. Um, let's talk about the draft. People here don't believe in uh, air draft. So, uh, no, fans are not something popular. And um, I, we try what? Two uh, ele electric stores here in town, and uh, none of them had fans. I was. I found that very interesting. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they don't like feeling any kind of wind. So if you're on a bus or a train, even in the cab coming back, uh, they don't open the window. Oh no! They, in fact, they close the window. Yeah. Because it was the air draft. It could kill. Yeah, it could kill you. <laughs> so uh, we've got two fans now, and his mother's like, "What am I going to do with these?" Yeah, she uh, left the house basically. Uh, no, I'm joking. No. But uh, yeah, it feels so much better now. Yeah, because it's just in the it's in the low 70s, and you turn a fan on, it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, but it's very still. These these apartments are all cinder block and, and cement, so they don't. There's no real circulation mm -hmm. of air. Mm -hmm. um, so it's great. Beautiful day. Lovely little village. We'll show you pictures of. And uh, just I'm a little still jet lagged, so I'm a little sleepy right now. I've been up since two o'clock in the morning. But uh, after lunch, and I might take a little nap, and uh, we're about the, to see. Yeah. See what the afternoon brings. These two three days is gonna be just uh, catching up and uh, getting over the jet lag. Jet lag. Absolutely. All right. So back to sleep. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon I left John home because he's super jet lagged but I have to drag myself uh, for a little bit so um, I took advantage about this time and I, uh, I went to the city to just to, to get a sense of um, how is it so I'm here in the public uh, garden right now and uh, as a matter of fact here behind me it's the bench where my grand grandmother was luring me uh, with a schnitzel sandwich to um, go to the next afternoon class, a violin class. So uh, I have a lot of memory happening in this uh, park. You know, a lot of people, including you, ask me how do I find Romania and how do I feel like coming back home. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, I feel really good this time. I, I really like it. And um, 
a lot of things have changed in good, uh, including cleanless and uh, people are more organized. Um, I talked with the taxi driver the other day and I said, listen, a few years ago I came home uh, and I went to, on that uh, hill with my mother and everything from above looked kind of rusty and grungy. <clears throat> but this time you look over the city, every house has a new roof, yeah, uh, it's, yeah. it's, everything is new. Uh, which tells me that uh, uh, those people who left uh, Romania to work uh, in the West, mm -hmm. they're slowly coming back home and they are uh, putting those money in uh, uh, restoring uh, their homes. Yeah, it's great to see that kind of development. And a lot of people left. When the EU opened up, a lot of Romanians went abroad to find better work. And they haven't all come home yet, so there's still a dearth of people here and opportunities to buy property. And and the government is really trying to offer incentives to folks like us who want to open a business here and, and start to invest again in Romania. So it's it's a good time to but be here. You lived in Romania for several years. How yes. Do you, how do you find Romania? Well, I mean, the thing is, when you're an expat living working in a in a international school, the international school does everything for you. And so it's, 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 it's as though you work and live in a bubble and then you see Romania out the window. Uh, and that's been true of every country we've lived in. Uh, it's a completely different experience coming with the idea of living here and doing the things that Romanians do and, and all of that. But with the history that we've had with this country, I feel very comfortable here. I feel safe. I feel like it's a, a place where I could blossom uh, and... Uh, and, and just really, I don't know, it seems very peaceful, it seems very beautiful, and, and would offer us some opportunity as well. Hey y'all, we are still in Kumpulung here in Romania at my mother's place. Car. And uh, yeah, there are cars everywhere. And. Um, Actually, we haven't done anything, any blog, any any filming yesterday because we both were so jet lagged and oh hit, my god, it hit us both like you won't believe. It's like living in a dream. But today it's a little better. We did yes. some uh, work around, helped my mother with some shopping and some other things. We got uh, high-speed internet installed. Uh, it's brilliant, and now she is trying to. Uh, work some uh, cables around the house and um, we real realized that she does not have a drill and uh, she said no I'm gonna go and ask for somebody uh, to come over and I said no listen you every house needs a little drill so we are now heading in the city looking for uh, a small drill so uh, wish us luck Okay, so uh, the first attempt uh, is a complete uh, disaster. Typically, it, it is exactly how I remember from years and years ago. Um, you can find a piece in one store and... Let's go. This way. And uh, all the accessories on another store. So, um, we gave up on that shop, but... Uh, so, wait, there's, we went to one shop. And they didn't know if they had a drill. They didn't oh, have yeah, a drill. Oh yeah, that's right. So we went to a bigger shop. They had a drill, but they and they had drill bits, but they don't match. So you can't use the drill bits and the drills they have. So I gave up on that uh, uh, option. So now we go try other shops that hopefully have uh, both the machine and the drill. And the drill bits. <laughs> so let's see. Lucați aici? Lucați în magazin? Mă interesează și pe mine o, un um, burghiu, o mașină cu burghie care să meargă. Uite, machita asta este genul. Nu, no, asta e. e... Oh, este. Și 
ce asta cu ce? Ce are asta? Impact, se pune tubulare A, da, da, da Aha, asta e prea mare, un mai micuț, așa e We got, we got a machine, and um, four shops. For, no, not only four shops, but uh, uh, to get this one, it took us about what 20 minutes. 20 minutes and four employees. For, uh, I can't tell you how many people. If it took this long to buy a drill, <laughs> I wonder how complex is the process to buy an actually car a car or a house can you imagine but um, so are you ready to move to romania yet i am still ready to move to romania i think it's fun. so it took all day to buy a drill it you know we could have bought it online it would have been a lot easier yeah but, but it's, this, this it's way, a small town this way is fun and yet um, having manually everything done requires more employees Oh, absolutely. So everybody yeah. has a job at the end of the day. Oh, the gallery is open. Found the exhibition where I had my first exhibition His here in first town, exhibition. and uh, there's a, a painting uh, exhibit right now. So we're gonna admire together all these beautiful paintings. They're all paintings of Compulon, mm -hmm. so this is what you'll see around the, the city. I loved it. It was lovely. I hope to reconnect with the uh, uh, curator here. I, th I think it would be a great uh, idea. He curated your show, what, 20 some odd years ago? Uh -huh. And it's the same guy. Yes, yes. But anyway, let's go home now. Okay. It's Thursday evening and uh, I still have to fight the jet lag so I'm with my mother now uh, for a hike here on the hills of uh, uh, her town and uh, here on the on the top of this hill there's a lovely lovely church and we're gonna go and see it from outside and then hike a little more around so uh, let me show you the view from uh, up here
hike was lovely. We really enjoy and we end up with a friend. Come here. You come here. Finish. 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 Puppy. He's a puppy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, we're finally here at the mausoleum, the Mateas mausoleum. This was a mausoleum uh, built for the heroes, uh, Romanian heroes, in the World War II. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, on these uh, hills over here, there were many battles, and of course we <laughs> we resisted and uh, we win. But it's not about that. It's about exploring new spaces, new places, and um, I found uh, Romania very, very nice and very comfortable. Yeah, we were here last time. I last time I was in in uh, in Copolon, and there was nothing here. I mean, it's just the mausoleum and the, yeah. and the monument. I mean, I, I've been here many, many years, and yeah. there was nothing here. And now there's there's shops here, a restaurant, a parking lot full of people. It used to be an isolated spot. Uh, I mean, it, it was uh, even now when I we booked the taxi to come over here, and I said, "Hell, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna see the the mausoleum, and then what?" Uh, but no, now it, we can buy there, trinkets and there is some have a beer. Entertaining going on, so that's fantastic. Now we're gonna explore the site, and I'll show you everything that's what's here. Excellent. And so uh, we did the tour of uh, Mateaj Mausoleum, we walked around, we enjoyed the, the views and I have to tell you something that, you know, I, I grew up here. Uh, my brother and I we used to buy here once in a while. Uh, it was I can't believe. You know, it, it is quite a hike and uh, there's no... Back then we never had uh, bicycles with uh, seven speeds. No, there was one classical, one speed bicycle, and um, we were just running these hills like you won't believe. But what I wanted to mention is that I'm absolutely shocked of the amount of people it's I, I found today. Yeah. In my life, ev full. every time I would come here, you wouldn't find another human being. Uh, only some random dogs running around and nothing else. Uh, once in a while you will get a, a bus with students and organize uh, school trips, but nothing like this. I'm, I'm seeing people enjoying this path now uh, with, with some interest in visiting, which, is, fa ages. which is fabulous, all ages. But this is what I wanted to, to add to this uh, uh, mausoleum uh, journey. hike up there and see uh, what's the view like. Come join me. Oh look, John is coming. I had no idea he's, he's willing to do this. Whew. I'm tired already. You think I can do this? I'm going to try. That's why I do CrossFit almost every day. 
coming back is going to be just as hard as going up on this hill. Maybe not a good idea after all. Ah, oh, it smells so good like mountain flowers. Ah, oh, I miss this smell. This is actually the plant that smells. It's called... I don't know how it's called. Mm. It's very good. My mother is actually made uh, a harvest this from the mountains. She dries them for tea. It's really good aromatic tea. here just phenomenal hey you made it halfway I'm sharing with everybody some moments of this uh, journey. It's a remarkable place. You don't want to watch me coming down a mountain. You never know that. He may Not be. the most luxurious thing I've ever done. Ah. Ta-da! So the journey continue to a um, monastery here in town. This is kind of the outside town, basically. I was going to say, it's hardly in town. It's actually a, a convent. A, a convent. Mm -hmm. And um, the beauty of this one is that the church actually is um, um, carved, carved in a mm -hmm. stone. Let's uh, start the adventure here. Are you ready? Are you ready for the steps? We have about a thousand steps, steps guys, to hike. So this was Kampulung, this little uh, town uh, in uh, uh, Romania, border with Transylvania basically. Uh, we really, really enjoyed, I really enjoyed. It's very, very quiet. Um, we didn't have a car to move around too much, but that's fine. You know, we'll have time to, to explore that. Next, next week, next, next, we're going to Bucharest uh, to meet some friends, to get a glimpse of the city to finish up the business uh, stuff to see how the art uh, world is like uh, in a big city and um, and a lot of other things that we haven't yet planned for and it's a completely different environment than we're sitting in yes, now yes but thank you guys so much for watching and again we'll see you next time uh, in beautiful Bucharest and until then have a wonderful week bye guys bye now